Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at this smart home security camera by Altron. Let's open it up and check it out. In the box, we got a user's manual, the power brick and power cord. We have some mounting hardware and a bracket for wall or ceiling mounting. They also include a little ruler that has a QR code that's gonna help you get set up with the app and then the security camera itself. If we take a closer look at the camera itself, we have a nice big lens up front. This thing is gonna be able to do 1080p. On the bottom, we have a slot for a micro SD card. On the back of the camera, we've got a speaker and a microphone, so it supports two-way audio, USB power port and reset button right here. And if you're mounting it to the wall or ceiling, you can just attach that right here to the bottom. And once the camera is connected, you'll be able to adjust the angle to perfection. And because the camera can rotate 355 degrees horizontally and 110 vertically, there isn't going to be any area in the house that you won't be able to see. So to get this set up, first thing we need to do is download their app. It's called Little Elf. We're going to go right into it and set up an account. And once that's created, we can work on getting the camera synced up to the internet. And now you can see we got a picture stream. This is <laughs> really, 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 really good. High quality right here. So we got a little control pad down here on the right, which I'm sure is going to make it there we go, pan and tilt, the full 360. We can see the office space here. And then I could zero it in better on my face. That's pretty awesome. And now I can be talking into the camera or that camera, but we've got clean picture quality and it has that ability. Th this looks really good. And then we also have a built-in siren. Let's see what it sounds like. I like it, this is like Star Trek. Red alert. All right, so we got the camera set up. We're in my living room. I got it right on top of the fireplace. It blends in perfectly. If we zoom in, you can see that it's, it blends in quite nice. White on white works great. And I can log into the camera from my phone at any point in time. And if I ever want to scroll around, right, I can pan left and right and check out the living room here. Right, we got some bearded dragons over here on the side. If we want to look up a little bit higher, I can see what's happening up and down, which is super convenient. And even off into the far corner where we have the uh, cat. If the cat was there, I could pinch and zoom in on the screen just to get a slightly better shot, maybe to see what's happening off in the distance. Then we also have motion tracking. That way when something comes into view, it's actually gonna follow it, whatever it might be, whether it's a pet, a person, or anything else that's moving, and it's gonna be able to follow it around and make that recording without you having to manually do it. And then we have an alarm section right here where it tracks and snaps a picture every time the motion detection gets tripped off. So here's a good question. What happens when it gets dark out? Check this out. Not only does this camera have infrared, the infrared motion detecting and following still works even in the dark as I trip over my couch and everything else. You can even see the infrared lights reflecting right there in the mirror. We pan around the living room. You can see the painting perfectly clear. See all the way over into the corner. You can still even see into my lizard tanks over here as well in the pitch black. I'm going to be honest, if the image quality from the infrared in the pitch black right now doesn't sell this camera for you right now, then I don't know what will. 